6, 1944 D-Day, Allied troops landed on a 50-mile stretch of French coastline for the invasion of Normandy. Thousands of ships and planes. The water was just a mass of ships. Attorney Joe Farish remembers it like yesterday. Went ashore right here. An Army Lieutenant Artillery Officer and member of the storied 1st Infantry Division, Joe Farish was just 24 years old when he landed at Omaha Beach, dodging bullets and the horrors of war. Uh, all kinds of bad things, uh, wrecked jeeps and bodies and all that stuff all over the place. I wanted to get off that beach <laughs> the best I could. So, uh, we got... And, of course, a lot of shells dropping on you around all over. Lieutenant Farish's mission was to give cues to the Navy to take out the enemy. I was a forward observer. Then I'd say, they'd say, uh, we're ready. I'd say, uh, fire, and they'd say, on the way. And the air would come, whoop, 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 whoop. It was a turning point in history. The Allies defeated the Germans and went on to liberate France and all of Europe. But more than 1,000 Americans died that day, many of whom were buried in Colville-sur-Mer, Normandy. I was considering going. Eh? Joe Farish hoped to return to pay tribute to his fallen comrades on the 65th anniversary of D-Day. He's changed his plans. I don't want to go now. I said I saw where Obama was going to be there. I don't want to be a part of him because he wasn't even in the Boy Scouts. He's a hypocrite. He's just doing that because it's politically correct. Politics aside, the anniversary marks one of the greatest military achievements in history. For Joe Farish, it is a reminder of the brave and tragic American stories and sacrifices he hopes remain in our collective memory 65 years on. We were fighting for what we thought was some stability to the world. They don't teach enough history to give the kids today the appreciation of what has gone before. And I think that uh, if we could teach more history of what we all went through, we'd appreciate what we have better. Kathleen Walter, Newsmax TV.